All right, guys, I'm back at Rain's house, and today, uh, as you can see, his amazing baby Benz. <clears throat> I came here with my 190, and uh, I brought a bunch of parts with me and everything, basically. The cylinder head is in that luggage right there, and we're going to go ahead and start working on this uh, stuff, and uh, I want to put this engine back together ASAP. Yep, and it uh, should be a lot of fun, uh, exciting, and... I'm really excited to get this car back to life wagon right there so here's the deal with this right so the book shows only one spacer which is right here but when i took this out of the old engine it had spacer in the front so i put the spacer in the front as well but it's not right so i'm gonna take all these bolts out and i'm gonna install uh just this spacer in the back i'm not gonna put anything over there so that's what the book shows and uh yeah i don't know why someone would put another spacer right there they probably didn't know what they were doing so i'm gonna take this out and we do it okay just why i wheeled this entire transmission shifter linkage and i'm gonna paint it right now primer and then black paint Already tighten that, and then now we're gonna take it off this guy. I have a new oil pressure sensor too, so that's not needed. And then I already loosened all these mounting bolts. This uh, oil filter housing is gonna get cleaned up nicely. about to paint this right now I'm not trying to spend a lot of time on this I just kind of clean that up real quick and I'm gonna spray uh, black high heat paint on it Okay guys, here's the oil filter housing, really cleaned up nice. I'm gonna install a new gasket on it and start installing that. And uh, I'm about to start installing the water pump as well. And the engine, arm, all that stuff. Just brand new gasket for it. It's gonna go like that. I'm not adding any sealant to this one. Oil filter housing installed, installing a brand new uh, oil pressure sensor. All right, so I got the cruise control actuator all pre-installed right here with the engine arm on this side. And then I'm gonna go ahead and install the oil filter now. Oh, good stuff guys, good stuff. That brand new oil filter. We'll put some oil on that seal. Ready to paint these parts as well. Long paint, first we have the primer. So the surface for the for the o-ring goes for the water pump is slightly pitted so i'm gonna add a little bit of a gasket maker to that as well there's an o-ring that goes here but i'll put gasket maker on the o-ring as well to prevent any possible leakage so there's a brand new o-ring in there and put some rtv sealant 
and uh, yeah, I just don't want to have any surprises of this leaking and getting disappointed after that. So, so we'll be okay. Okay, putting new thermostat in. Let's make sure everything is clean. Made in Germany. Thermostat is in with new o-ring. Okay guys, so I'm ready with this uh, surface right here of the block and I'm about to install this head gasket. So yeah, cleaned it up as much as possible. I'm about to lube up these cylinders. One, two, three, four, right there before installation of the cylinder head. You can actually still see the hone on the cylinders, so it's pretty nice condition. And also, a really, really important step that I'm about to do is clean out all these uh, uh, head bolt holes because you want to make sure there's no oil, nothing in there. Okay, so the head gasket is on, cylinders lubricated. What I'm gonna do actually is I'm gonna spray copper, uh, you know, copper sprayer. Uh, I'm gonna use that and just coat this entire head gasket and both from both sides with that copper. It's gonna help it seal better. It's gonna actually prevent more corrosion uh, as well. So that's why I'm gonna start using copper every time I do head gaskets and all that. Okay, this is what it looks like with the copper on both sides and this is gonna get dry too so it's gonna it's gonna really help sealing especially that uh, right rear corner all right I got the ready the head ready to install and uh, yeah let's get to it the head is on also using new head bolts okay I'm gonna put a little bit of oil on uh, the threads and I put oil on the mating surface right there. I have to do that. Got some progress, guys. Um, I torqued the cylinder head. I'll tell you in a second how I did it. But, um, also reinstalled the camshaft sprocket and the chain okay so this is actually my link where i connected the chain and i um crumpled that uh the timing chain tool and uh, yeah these are torqued to 22 foot uh sorry i have to oh man it's been a long night mm. Torx bolts 16 newtonmeters or 12 foot pounds. These ones, 16 newtonmeters or 12 foot pounds. And now I'm reassembling this tensioner. Um, yep, there's a procedure for it too. Also using a brand new spring for that. Okay, timing chain assembled and everything. This guide is in, chain is tight. That's in. Okay, I'm gonna turn it by hand and we're gonna check the compression right now. I have these paper towels. That was the first one, that was fast. Ah, uh, I didn't, it didn't work out, I guess. I put them too close together, but there's another one right there. Let's keep watching these two other ones. There's one and the last one. There we go. So we got compression. Um, yeah, super happy, excited about everything. I'm gonna just uh, probably install this upper cover here right now with brand new seal, original, genuine. But yeah, I'll be getting ready to install everything back. And after turning the engine by hand multiple times, we have the OT mark right here, and it's lined up with the camshaft here too. So everything is good to go. 
added some more TV right there. And then that seal is all good, not pinched. So that's great. Now I'm gonna put some more oil on the camshaft and the rockers and close up the valve cover. Valve cover gasket uh, is installed. Everything is ready to go back on. Installing new spark plugs as well.